Meghan Markle lose heart after mocked after she apologized to the Court of Appeals as Duchess slammed as amateur dramatic for forgetting about allowing aides to speak to the authors of Finding Freedom as a Jeremy Vine panelist questioned the likelihood of her actually forgetting such a key event. Speaking on Jeremy Vine on 5, Ms. Neeson discussed the legal battle between Associated Newspapers and Meghan Markle and shared her take on the events. She told the program, but I mean, you know, Jeremy, you forget where you put your keys or your phone, you do not forget helping out to put a book together. Mr. Vine interrupted and asked whether Ms. Neeson was suggesting Meghan's claim she forgot was untrue. She was intended to tell a lie to cover another lie after it was exposed. Suck amateur dramatic. The political commentator replied, well, this is the problem. Claims in the Oprah Winfrey interview, and I use that word very loosely. Claims that Meghan made in that are demonstrably untrue, which we know we can prove that. Mr. Vine wondered if Ms. Neeson was referring to the racist royal who had concerns over unborn baby Archie's skin tone. Ms. Neeson recalled the Buckingham Palace response which said recollections may vary and said there was was contradicting statements from Harry and Meghan over when the concerns were first raised. Earlier in the show, Times Radio presenter Aisha Hazarika urged people to calm down on the story as Meghan and Harry see further calls to remove their titles. Ms. Hazarika suggested the public follow the behavior of the Queen who has taken a common-sense approach and does not overreact when big news stories break about the couple. Ms. Neeson also agreed many needed to tone down the rhetoric. Meghan has seen an appeal lodged against her by Associated Newspapers who want to see a full trial when they were sued for publishing her letter to her father. Recently Thomas Markle made the accusations as he appeared on GB News on Thursday evening, November 11, after it emerged the Duchess of Sussex was facing a fresh blow in her legal case against Associated Newspapers Limited, ANL. She claimed the five articles, published in print and online in February 2019, misused her private information, including a letter to her father Thomas, and infringed her copyright and breached the Data Protection Act. But the appeal court has heard she had asked an aide to pass on information to the authors of a biography, Finding Freedom, despite having earlier said she did not contribute. I can't speak too much about this but I think she was trying to deceive, Thomas claimed. I think she was telling lies. Finally the truth is coming out and thank God for Jason Knauf. I would like him to come over so I can take him out for a steak. However, new testimonies from Meghan's former aide, Jason Knauf, have suggested Meghan was prepared for the letter to be leaked by her father and so edited the language used. Mr. Knauf claims Meghan said she wanted to use the word daddy as it would pull at the heartstrings if leaked. The former aide claimed Meghan asked me to review the text of the, Thomas Markle, letter who then said obviously, everything I have drafted is with the understanding that it could be leaked. Meghan also apologized to the court after claiming she forgot about giving permission to staff to cross-examine information in Finding Freedom. Mr. Knauf told the court he messaged Prince Harry to let him know about a meeting with the Finding Freedom authors. He says Harry replied, I totally agree that we have to be able to say we didn't have anything to do with it. Equally, you giving the right context and background to them would help get some truths out there. Associated newspapers have called for a full trial in their appeal and argued Meghan wrote the letter to her father with the public in mind and was happy for the public to read it if Mr. Markle were to leak it.